All right, and hey there, Prize Gaming crew, and welcome back to another episode of the XD Guild Darkness. Let's play. If you guys missed out during the last one, we went and battled out uh, over at the Kamiko's house with the returning Chobin of his Robo Groudon. So now that should at least hopefully suffice everything that has to be done with Chobin, and now we can be done with the Kamiko's house. We went through a little bit of some side quests and stuff, got ourselves uh, with some more battle CDs, and we are going to be putting them to the test here within our time of this episode for today. Now, I do know a little bit of some more of the whole battle CD sims uh, that we kind of have to go and uh, try to remember some things uh but if you guys uh do recall i think i did say something about us going to try to use our pokemon within our time of the battle sims which that is not actually the case uh we do get ourselves with our own pacific chosen pokemon and every single pokemon that we do go and grab are i believe around level 50 so uh and hopefully uh with those battles it shouldn't really be all that too bad and i believe uh each time with the different battle CDs that we do have, uh, you can actually go and do some checking with your uh, CD case and you can see how much uh, the different uh, difficulties are going to be. So like each time that we go and check around through these battle CDs, uh, and I think probably if we go all the way over here to the, like the 49th one, uh, we don't really know exactly what our difficulty is going to be for that one there. But you see all these, there's like difficulties where it can become like three stars as well too. So some things are going to be a little bit more hectic and then some things are going to be a little bit more uh, easy for for us though but however before we even go and even worry about going through the battle stems for today we do have one thing that we do have to go and get finished off with here and that is grabbing out with the master ball that we have to go and talk to crane for it now i believe how this whole segment has to work is is that you have to go and talk to crane first then he'll tell you that you have to go and kind of leave and then come back for like a little bit and then once you go and do that and head back over to where the staying machine area was at when we first arrived and headed into here at the very first time to go and grab it you'll actually open up a secret passageway and then he'll lead you right into the the master ball which it kind of sucks because unfortunately i was never uh the one uh to be able to go and grab with the master ball during like the very first time that we went and played pokemon xd here on the channel because i totally forgot about it and uh, i believe uh, not only that, but there is a master ball glitch that you can go and do here, or I should say the ball glitch, which I don't know if it's still a thing uh, that still happens here in Pokemon XD or not. Uh, but here is Aiden. You can go and talk to him, and he'll tell you how many uh, shadow Pokemon that you do have. Uh, now, I don't know if you ever get like a reward or anything from Aiden after once you collect like every single type of shadow Pokemon, so it should be interesting. I may probably have to do some research for that because I wonder if uh, anything will uh, be good to be happening from there. Uh, but anyways to like do the whole master ball glitch and everything like that uh, to do it is that or I should say the ball glitch uh, for that matter is that during the time like uh, when you're in the battle uh, like any type of battle for that matter it could even be master greenville's battle as well too uh but if you ever decide to like switch between like let's say like uh, you have your pokeball in your top inventory and then your master ball like on your second inventory within your ball list you can switch between those and i believe uh you can keep on doing that over and over again and it can actually uh freeze up the actual uh pokeball that you actually do have and or it can even be like the master ball for that matter and you can keep on repeatedly using the master ball over and over and over again and you can just use it at whatever given time that you want to which that is really nice and i like how they had that in there uh, for pokemon coliseum as well but again it is uh, somewhat very broken so i don't know if you want to go and keep on doing that over and over again uh but it is a great way to at least try to pick up with all the shadow pokemon and even try to pick up with uh even some of the tough ones as well too like the legendaries in uh, pokemon coliseum with like uh, entei raikun and suicune uh, but however, uh, after once we went and left on from here, and now we can just go and come right back into this area, we could go and see that Crane is actually going to be right here. And he's going to go and show us uh, a little bit of a hidden area that we could have never actually got to go and see before uh, during our very first time here into this place. And yep, and now we get to see a secret little laboratory that's down this way. So let's go and uh, follow through and see what's happening. Ah, and there it is over at that top little left hand corner there you guys can go and see that there is the master ball that is going to be right there so let's go and uh talk on over here to crane once more and so the battle against with cypher appears to have entered a cypher phase and i think the situation calls for a special solution and that special solution is going to be opening up with this box and however we get ourselves with the master ball the only one master ball that's here in this game but you can go and make this thing become infinite if you want to and I think we'll probably go and try that out with the little ball glitch if we wanted. So I'll probably use it during the time for Sid Dark Isle if I want to try and grab it with the rest of the different legendaries while we're here. Now, I don't think any of the legendary birds have anything like special item related, so it doesn't really matter. But they are uh, really nice Pokemon to go out and grab if you want to go and bring them over to your Ruby or Sapphire game, though. And that's the only one way that you can only bring out with uh, Zapdos, Articuno, and Moltres if you want to go and trace them over to uh, Ruby and Sapphire. Same with, the, same with the legendary dogs as well. 
But anyways, I'm not going to go and do any edits right now because we're just going to go and try out with the simulator battles. And uh, also as well, uh, over here at Fennec City, uh, I know that during our time we were having a little bit of trouble with the whole Pokemon Coliseum. Uh, well, for the Fennec Coliseum, that matter. And uh, why it was not opening up. Well, that is because here in Pokemon XD, uh, there is nothing that is done here at Fennec Coliseum. Because uh, it seems like uh, they've already moved over here towards the Railgam Tower. And that is where the official uh, Coliseum is going to be here for Fennec. Uh, so no more Fennec Coliseum, though here in Pokemon XD, you have to go and do that within the Pokemon Coliseum game if you want to go and try out with that area. Just kind of sucks that unfortunately they don't have that opened up here within our time of, of this game though, because it would have been nice to have an extra little Coliseum though. But we do have the Ore Coliseum, so that'll happen a little bit later on though. So uh, that'll be pretty fun. Can't wait to go and try out that, because that is where uh, our guy Gorgon is going to be at for once more. And we do have Mount Bow as well too, which uh, that would be something to go and do for post game wise. But here it is. Uh, this is the main hub of uh, Rail Game Tower. You guys remember this from before, but we didn't really go through every single type of area that was also here. So if you go and head through this place, this is the Battle Bingo area. This is where we got ourselves with the Bonsley card. I'm not going to worry about this area for right now. We'll worry about that for post game. But the main area that we do want to go and however check on over towards to is going to be over towards this way here. This is the Battle Simulator spot right here. Now, I believe uh, you have to go and talk to this lady. She'll kind of start you up with everything that is going to be going on within the virtual world. But this lady right here, she'll go and tell you about uh, if you find any more battle CDs, you can go and like use it here for uh, this part. And for right now, uh, we can go and talk over to her. So if you may have experienced battle sims here using the battle CDs, which we have used the battle simulator over at our uh, main hub of the Pokemon HQ lab. But unfortunately, these have made up with a huge haul recently. And I think that was the uh the whole team cypher situation with the hexagonal uh bros what's more the uh, two customers just came in and just bought what most of we had left but there is still more battle cds to go and buy and what we are going to go and do is buy the last bit of the battle cds that are going to be here and i believe uh with the battle cds here that we do have to go and pick up uh, i believe the fifth one though that we actually do have will become the reward for the battle cd6 so most of them are going to be rewarded to you after once you're done with a certain like uh, battle that does go on. Um, but however, we'll get into more details about what that later throughout here. Uh, so we're going to go and choose a battle CD. So we're going to go for the first one though. And you can also go and check out the battle CD as well. And you can see what type of Pokemon that you're going to have. So it seems like for what we're going to have is that we're going to have the Pidgeot. And it seems like the trainer that's going to have is going to have a Tropius. So this whole battle really shouldn't be all that too entirely dangerous. But we'll have to uh, figure out what's going to happen from there. So it says that the difficulty is not all that too bad. So let's go and uh, choose out our battle CD though. And we'll go for the using for the one. Yes. We're going to go and put that to the test. Now let's head into the virtual world. Now this area is really cool. And it's been such a long time since I haven't really been through the battle sims for a little while. But this whole area kind of feels like uh, kind of feels like almost like Kingdom of Heart in, in a type of way where you're... Uh, kind of like starting off at like the, the beginning of your time of like choosing like your sword or your shield to like uh, get some sort of like increased stat boost at the very beginning of the game but here we are we're going to be playing a Pokemon game instead but we get to see uh, the virtual world that's happening here so here we go so he's going to start setting off with his Pokemon it's going to be with a Tropius does have 159 HP we have our boy our Pidgeot too bad that we don't really have any Megas in this game but I know that Megas weren't even a thing yet uh, but I guess what we could go and probably do is try to maybe set for our feather dance first and we'll see what happens. I kind of want to at least try to lower his uh, any type of effects that go on here. But that is his attack is going to harshly fall. So that's pretty nice. So this man is going to try to set for a fly. I am not going to really like that. I'm going to see if I can go and set for agility and see if I can go a little bit faster than this Tropius here. Nice, so at least our speed gets risen up a little bit. He's going to go for fly now. That's going to probably hurt a little bit. Okay, so not as much. So again, we did lower that attack, so that was all fine. Now, what we can go and do... Oh, so now it's all tied up. Oh, whoa, what? Okay. So it looks like uh, we did fail there. Oh, jeez. Okay. Unfortunately, there's not really too many turns that happen. So let's go and battle it again, and we'll try it a little bit better. Huh. Okay, so we have to predict our moves that happen. Huh. Well, that's going to be a little bit tricky, because if there's only, like, two turns that only happen, I don't know if we're going to probably at least, like, uh, win an award or not. 
So I didn't really look into too much of the details that happened here for this turn. So it looks like we can only have like only like one turn and that's it. Here we go. Let's retry this out again. And maybe we can make this a little bit better. I was going to try and just do some setting up here, but I guess not. So we'll have to go for a double edge. Let's set it up and hopefully that does enough. No, it only does like only just about like just a little bit. And yeah, we got hit with a recoil. Now this man's flying up in the air. I don't like that. Can I still use double edge while he's in the air though? Nope. Not gonna work. Ouch. And what's gonna happen now, huh? Anything different? Player tied against with the... Uh... And again, we failed again. Oh my goodness. Predict the opponent's next move, but... Unfortunately, I don't really know how to predict that guy's moves. It seems like the dude kind of likes to fly in the air. Let's get some advice. A moose power is boosted if the type is the same as the Pokemon's type. So, a Pokemon that is uh, that is up in the sky using fly will take some damage from Gust. Ah, okay, so there you go. Didn't realize about the, the giving of advice, so thank you. That kind of helps us out a little bit better now. So, let's give it a third attempt, and let's see what is going to happen. So... Now we can go and figure out how we'll uh, do this battle a little bit more. So that's pretty nice. I never even thought about that. So if you ever want to like ever tried to like do like anything like competitive wise, I guess here in the battle stills will kind of help you out with that as well. Because I never even knew that before. I didn't know that like having gust up in the air will probably do damage. I never even thought about that to be honest with you. So I guess what we'll do is just go for a double edge. Do the same thing that I did from before. So that like did almost close to half. So that's not too bad. That was a pretty good high roll there. So now this guy is going to fly up into the air now. And I want to see if I can go and use Gust. So now we'll have to use Gust since he's up in the air. And how much is that going to do? That actually did enough and it was super effective. Okay. So that was really good. And now we finally got ourselves with the W. So that is very handy. Okay. Not bad at all. So now I know how all this battle simulator stuff now works. So now every time that we get ourselves with any type of advice, we'll have to go and listen from her. So nice. So not too bad. Now I don't know if we get any type of reward afterwards. So congratulations, you cleared the battle CD. That was a wonderful battle too. You can your very first battle CD. Uh, you get yourself with a super potion. So yeah, so it seems like every time that you go and clear out with any type of reward, you will get yourself a very nice good uh, uh, little thing there. Now, I believe also as well too, I think there is also a item that you can get yourself known as a sacred ash. And I think I may probably want to go and pick that up beforehand. And I'll probably do that off recording on my own time to go through all these different battle CDs. Uh, but let's go and keep on going through some more. And I'll show you guys uh, some more stuff that's going to happen from here. Because we do have a little bit of some extra more time. So let's go and choose out another battle CD. And we'll go for... Uh, so yeah, and also too, if you guys do get to see, there's a little star right there. That kind of lets us know that we already went and cleared that area. So now we don't have to worry about that one again. So we're going to go and check out with the battle CD here. So now we have to go uh, into a single battle with unlimited turns. Okay, so that's good enough. And we have to go and win the battle to clear it. Okay, so we got ourselves with a War Turtle and a Drowsy. So we'll have to go and see what type of moves that we get. Uh, so it looks like we have Counter and Miracle. Wow. Okay, that's a very interesting type of War Turtle there. I'm not I'm not really too entirely sure how this is going to probably work. But again, this is at a one-star difficulty. So use your power for your advantage. Okay. So let's just go for it anyways and let's choose it. Okay, yes, I'm ready for it. Let's just go and dive into our very first attempt out here. We'll probably lose this one again, but either way, it doesn't really matter. We'll probably get some advice from it if uh, if things start uh, not really working out as well as planned. So here we go, back into the virtual escape. So now we got ourselves with Trainer Habitual. Okay, what an interesting name on that guy there, but however, let's just go into it. So where are we at now? Are we back in the Poke Spot area again, or what's going on? Seems like every time we always show up in the Poke Spot. I don't know why it can't be something else a little bit different. Here we go. Uh, we got ourselves with Drowsy. And we got ourselves with War Turtle. Betty the War Turtle. Well, actually, sorry. It would be actually more so Brian the Water Turtle back from our Nuzlocke because it is a guy. Uh, but let's see. I don't really want to go for Miracoat because we don't really want to go and do that. Because uh, I don't know. How fast is this Drowsy? He may probably go a little bit faster than us, so... Or a maybe? 
Okay, so he is going to go much faster than us, so that's pretty nice. And let's see, how much is Miracle going to do? Can I go set this up now? Failed. Okay. Well, we got unlimited a turn, so that's fine. So he does have confusion. So how much is that going to do? That should probably do a lot, right? Not as much, but we do have counter, so it should be able to come back to him and hit him. And of course it fails. Oh, my goodness. What in the heck, man? Oh, okay. Well, at least we know how to switch around with these. Yeah, you know, I never really got to ever really go and switch around with my moves all that too much. Oh my goodness. Okay, no, this should be great right here. If I go for a counter right now, we could be able to do some damage. Hey, look at that. That's not too entirely bad. Okay, so now he's got another confusion here. Hopefully he doesn't knock me out entirely. Ouch. Okay, I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Come on, just set for another counter and knock him down. Please, War Turtle. No, but you failed. Oh, come on, man. Well, this is already a game over. Eh. War Turtle, you kept on failing with your counters, man. <laughs> Great. <laughs> got whited out. No. What is the matter with me and these battle sims? Get like destroyed out here. All right. Well, does she have any advice for us though? Uh, let's get some advice. Counter is a retaliation move that inflicts double the damage. Well, we already know about that. Similarly, mirror cut returns with any special attack causes it double the damage. Ah, okay. But you have to kind of predict that though, right? Because we don't really know exactly what's going to be happening around that side. So I wonder if we just have to go like from from like a counter uh, to like a mirror code afterwards or just keep on flip flopping between each other. So we'll have to try something like that then. All right, this will be the last time that we're going to go and do something here. Yeah, because we're right now like on the 17 minute mark. So here we go. So here comes out the drowsy again. We'll bring out with uh, Brian our war turtle out here once more. Okay, let's try it. So he's going to go for like a strength or something, right? Or maybe a confusion. Because we have to kind of predict exactly what he's going to do. Uh, let's go for a mirror coat. Okay, so he go. Uh, so unfortunately, that's not going to really work. So we'll have to set for a mirror coat afterwards. Yeah, so it already failed. So that didn't really work. So now he's going to go for confusion, right? Okay, so now he's going to go for confusion. Then I'm going to go set for the mirror coat. Completely flopped that one. Okay, so now we can go for mirror coat. Then we'll set that up. Here we go. That's not bad. And that hits him right back for some damage. Okay, so now he's going to go for strength again. And then we'll just go for a counter right after. Okay, so that actually did not a lot of bad damage, but hopefully this actually goes and works in his favor. Nice. Okay, so far so good. Now he's going to go for another confusion again. So we'll go for mirror code this time around. And how much is that going to do? Not as much. So at least it's not like a not like a high type of attack. So that's all right. And that should bring him down almost close to it. And we'll just do this one more time. So now he's going to go for strength. Hopefully this is not going to be a, a shot that's going to knock me out entirely. But we are still good. And here we go. Here comes up the counter. There we go. Nice. Second attempt worked like a charm. Okay, well now I at least know how Mirror Coat and Counter works because I never even knew that that was even a thing as well too because this is something that I always like to always know about like in competitive is to always get to know more things um, that I never really got to know before. So now I know that Mirror Coat does something with special attacking and Counter does things with physical attacking. So nice. So now we went and cleared out with Battle CD number two and we got ourselves with another extra super potion. Okay, and I think with that being said in mind, guys, is that I'm going to go and end off with this episode out here for today. Uh, I think what I'm going to do off recording is that I'm just going to go and take care of more of these different uh, battle CDs on my own time. 
um i may probably do maybe one more video and like show you guys like a few other different battle cds that happen afterwards and then i'll just kind of just be like another little side episode and then after once that is done then i'll just go and then jump right into um the actual city of dark isle that we do need to go and worry about so i'll see you guys in just a little bit and well well not even in a little bit but i'll see you guys in the next one um when we go and keep on uh, continue throughout a little bit of some more within our uh, time with some more of the battle cds and of course peace